Good afternoon or evening or morning or whenever you guys are watching this. Welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. My name is Stephen Corka. Juan. And we are here to talk about Shazam! <laughs> you alright there? Dude, yeah. Dude, you have huge eyelashes. Yeah, I know. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> yeah. His eyelashes are like out to here. Yeah, they're, they're crazy. They're like Venus fly traps. Yeah, it's really hard to get my eyes checked. Wow. When they try to spray that shit in your eye. I've ne I've 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 yet to have an eye exam. Knock on wood. Oh well. Yeah, I I've been blessed with decent eyes so far. Yeah. Wow. Anyways, Shazam, ladies and gentlemen, Shazam. Uh, the latest movie from uh, the DC. I guess is it still the DC expanded universe? We Maybe. don't even know. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, first of all, we are here at the Coral Gables store. The Coral Gables location is our first uh, show from this spot, uh, the newest of, of of our locations here in Coral Gables on Lejeune Road. Come check us out. Uh, we're open here seven days a week, just like Pember Pines, 11 to 9, uh, Monday through Saturday, 11 to 7 on Sunday. Anyways, let's get back to Shazam. So um, everyone, great reviews. It's getting Rotten Tomatoes is saying it's done really good, all that fun stuff. What What did you think? Um, I thought it was interesting for DC to release a Christmas movie so early in the year. It was a Christmas movie, wasn't it? Here, why don't you come in a little close? Yeah, not that close. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, it it was a Christmas movie, would you, um, it, or at least it took place during Christmas. Yeah. It's not as Die Hard as not Christmas as Christmassy as Die Hard, but it's yeah, there. I knew it was gonna be winter, but I didn't I didn't expect Christmas. A lot of a lot of Santas. Yeah, there was a lot, there was a bit, there was that one Santa that was there throughout the entire movie. Yeah. yeah. Spoilers, guys, by the way. Lots of spoilers. It looks like that's my phone. Dude, dude, wait, <laughs> come back. Come, dude, what the hell? Can't you just put a, I put my phone on silent because I'm dedicated to the show. See how that works? Who was that, anyways? I am sorry that no one's ever let you have children with them. Oh, my God. I cannot just ignore my uh, phone. They're grown up already. <laughs> no, they still need their dad. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, it did take place. It took, uh, where was it? What city? It was Chicago? No. What city was it in? Was it Detroit? I forget what city they were. It wasn't Chicago, actually. It was Philly. Yeah, it was Philadelphia. Yeah, they were in Rocky. Philly. Yeah, yeah, they were. They it was in Philadelphia. It was at Christmas time. Uh, if you guys don't know Billy Batson, he is an orphan, uh, and he's in a foster home with a bunch of other kids, and then uh, gets summoned by the wizard Solomon. Was that the wizard's name? I believe Solomon, who gives him the power of Shazam. So, um, but did you like the movie though? I mean, took yeah, the movie was great. Not my kind of movie, but it's still a good movie. I didn't think it was super funny. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, this movie's gonna be hilarious," you know. It was kind of funny. It had its Some moments. It. it had its moments, but but it, the humor was pushed. It definitely was entertaining. Uh, the villain was what, what was the villain guy's name? Doctor Savano. It's something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, a good villain, right? You know. Well, he's a good villain because the real villain in the movie were the seven deadly sins. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Which nobody like nothing in the trailers. No, you didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. You you would have to know about Shazam, Shazam to, know, to understand to, right. to understand that that was the case. So, uh, big surprise. Yeah. Um, I mean, and I'll say this, like, um, I liked, I liked Zach Levi. I thought he was great. Yeah. Uh, Did I li you like him in Chuck? I never saw Chuck. It was great. Yeah. Um, uh, Chuck was on before Heroes, but I, I watched Heroes, but I didn't watch Chuck. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, I'm just tired. Oh, you're standing too. You don't normally stand. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, this will be quick. <laughs> um, what didn't you like about the movie? Um, well, it was a little sappy. Sappy? How so? Like I'm gonna defeat the seven deadly sins with the power of my family, because they're in my heart. What? I hate that shit so much. No, guys, I kid you not. Every time there were like emotional moments, like like oh, I just looking for a family, or oh, why can't we be best friends, or oh, our family's gonna come together. Like whenever there was a wholesome moment, Juan was just like in the seat, like ah. Oh. 
It's so uh, it's like, annoying. It's like in Guardians 2 when they kept making like the father-son references, and Juan was just like, oh, come on, guys. Well, this one was really annoying for Shazam. Why? You don't agree? I mean... Because you can't beat evil with the power of love, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I think Warner Brothers in DC is like, look, guys, we can't... We, we can't go dark because we did that with It's Zach not Snyder. dark. Just how about like normal? I don't know. They're kids. They're children in a foster home and they're they're trying to find their place in the it world. It was awful. Yeah. That was terrible. There was a lot of sappy, sappy moments. Oh. Yeah, but it didn't affect the movie as a whole. I mean, it kind of grossed me out every time they did that. Really? Yeah, it took me out of what, it. What did you think of the dynamic between uh, the two boys? Couldn't stand the cripple. <laughs> Jimmy? Yeah. Whatever his name is? I could not stand him. Why? He was very annoying. Really? Yeah. Well, he he, he was a little overbearing, you know? Mm-hmm. But they addressed that in the movie, too. Yeah. It, like, I don't he, care. he was meant to be that character. Sure. Yeah. Thanks for m- forcing me to sit through that character. I don't care that they explain it. It was He was still in it. I will say that I the bully guy, the the two bully guys, the Balkan Skull. Really out of place. And I, I'm sorry, man. If someone hits you with your car, like, it's not that. Like the, yeah. they hit them with that's the, not bullying. That's like it's assault. Yeah, that's 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 criminal actually. Yeah, but, you're, but it's with a car. It's not even like that. He punched him. He hit him with a yeah, car. Yeah, like he hit him with his car. And then just starts being a cripple. Yeah, it's really weird. in it front was, of everyone. Everyone's just watching. They're like, just watching. I know that that would this never happen. That would never happen. That would never happen. That would never happen. I'm probably gonna get shit for saying cripple. You probably will, especially in this day and age. I got shit the other day because I called a girl a chick. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> oh, so we could talk about I mean, whatever. Fuck off. Anyways, um, so l- listen, I I like the movie overall. I don't. It's not the best DC movie in my Easily. opinion. You think it's the best DC movie? Yeah. No, not the best DC. Not in my opinion. As a movie, it really works. It works. Yeah. No, for sure it works. I mean, I'll, it's a complete movie. It's an actual movie. Yeah. Like there's a begin. There's I don't know. It felt like I watched a movie. Like I went in. To a movie theater and watch the movie. Yeah, but you know, I mean, you know me. I have a hard on for it Man of Steel. It wasn't political. You know, it wasn't political. It wasn't no. political. No, it was a, a family movie. You just definitely take the family. whole family. Anybody can go see this movie. Um, it, it just you know it had it was it was good. It was concise. It was tight. It was a good movie. Yeah. Um. So, uh, spoilers, guys. At the end of the movie, all the kids, uh, become the the other gods that that uh wizards. The, the other wizards. Thank you. The other wizards. Uh, and that, which is something that was. True of the comics. It's like. true of the comics. We kind of knew that was coming because we saw the, the, pop, the pop figures, figures come out. So the, the the toys spoiled the mm. movie. Um, what did you think of, of the, the other wizards popping in? God, they were really annoying. I love the little girl, the little black girl. She's super cute, though. Adorable. And then when she became the adult, she's that, that girl that played the adult version of her mm-hmm. still kept that bubbly... Super naive, super trusting personality. Sure, you know? it was weird. Yeah, I I don't know, man. It's fine, man. I don't know. I'm tired. You just not in. You were yeah, no. No, because it's a good movie, but there's not. It wasn't. It wasn't made for me. All right. Yeah. I mean, okay. Like my kids are gonna love it, and K- your kids will love it. I, yeah. I could see how big fans of Shazam are gonna love it. Yeah. I will say this. I mean, listen. I I read. I've read Shazam in the comics. I liked him when in Justice League. I like him in Injustice. I don't like him with the other wizards. No, the only time I've ever liked Shazam's in Kingdom Come. Oh uh, well, yeah, yeah. That was. I mean, That's in about it for in me. Injustice, he was great too. But there were no other wizards. I didn't get that far. It was just him. You know. Uh, so the other wizards, I don't know. It it becomes a team dynamic. I don't know what that means moving forward. Well, the whole, the whole little kid thing, which I'm glad that they they referenced big. But the whole little kid they, they thing. They did was, reference. They they made a big. Everyone said that. I mean, you've been saying this since the beginning, but other people have said too that this is basically big with a cape, and and they actually made the reference. Spoilers. Uh, they they were fighting in a toy store. They they got on the piano. Right. Uh, you know that. I enjoyed. Speaking of that, I enjoyed all the little Easter eggs, all the little shout outs. T- tons of references to Justice League tons. members. Tons. Uh, so much Batman and Superman shit throughout this movie. And then Aquaman. And a little bit of Aquaman. Not, no Wonder Woman. Not many. Not much Wonder Woman or Flash. No Flash at all. Or Cyborg. And you'd figure that they'd reference Wonder Woman being she's magic. Not to mention, and similar magic too, Power of Zeus, all that right, shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, That's what Shazam stands for. Each letter is yeah. for something. Yeah. Um, but the... 
she wasn't referenced a lot. And 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 Wonder Woman is arguably their most po- popular character yeah. right now in the movie verse. And they didn't reference her at all. But they did. They referenced Batman. They referenced Aquaman. They referenced Superman a, a ton. ton. Superman. Superman even made a cameo. Spoilers at the end. Uh, and I heard it was Henry Cavill, and then they cropped him because he got fired. Henry Cavill's not Superman. It's confirmed. It's not confirmed. There's no official confirmation, but you know we all know the story that Henry Cavill is out as Superman. Not confirmed yet, but he was supposed to be in the movie. I heard, and then they decided not to put him in. Here's the real question, though: Does this movie and them recognizing Batman, Aquaman, Superman, showing the Batarang, showing the the bullet from Superman, talking about? A, is, does the DCEU still exist? Does that mean we still live in a Snyderverse world? I don't know, but maybe it, what it does show is that in one of these movies, you don't have to be afraid to mention the fact that there's other DC heroes without it having to be a part of the world. Yeah. Because even if even if there was no... The, let's say Shazam was just a regular release with nothing else existing in the Snyderverse, right? Yeah. That's fine. It still works. It still works, yeah. Because you so, you recognize that Batman. You recognize that Batman and Superman are going to exist, and if they exist, Philadelphia's heard about them. It, it reminds me of I don't know if you, uh, I mean I hate to bring this up as an example, but when Batman and Robin came out, the George Clooney one, and and George Clooney made a reference in the script that about Metropolis, like. I was like, oh, my God, they said Metropolis. No. That's fucking Superman. That's where he lives. No. You know, like, so, and, of course, we never had a Superman movie in the 90s. So, but just them acknowledging that. So, yeah, you don't. I, that was really, really cool. Yeah. Um, the the after credit scene was great with the fish. It was cute. Where they made fun of Aquaman. They made fun of Aquaman. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also, there's a lot of video game references. Tons. Mortal Kombat apparently is Tons. a huge favorite. Was that and uh, and the one that they showed? Remember the game? Was that, that they were playing? The was, one that they that were, the no, new one? No, the one that oh. they were playing. That's the one that was made by the dudes that made the Injustice game. Bum, bum, bum. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, but aren't they making Eleven uh, also? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. For the purpose of the movie. Okay. The guys that made Injustice. All right. Maybe. Injustice ain't happening. You want to see Injustice? I'm, I'm watch, saying. watch Brightburn, kids. I'm just saying. Yeah, I would love Injustice. That'll never happen. That's Snyder. That's what Snyder wanted to do. Right. He wanted to make a bad Superman that, that submitted to the anti-life equation, and Warner Brothers was like, we can't do that. Yeah, so. Yeah. Obviously, so there was uh, obviously references to uh, Mortal Kombat. Tons. Well, and um, what was the little Asian kid playing on his little VR or whatever, on his headsets, when, when Billy first got introduced? Oh, I don't remember. He was playing a diff- couple different games. There was yeah. a, a uplink, uh, an uplink, maybe. There was a game. I know they referenced Watch Dogs. Out of nowhere, where the kid's like, oh, I learned all this hacking from playing Watch Dogs. I don't even know what that is, but all right. Yeah, it's a game about hack. Well, whatever. It's a you- okay. So. Sorry. A lot of video game references. Yeah. Um, Mary was older than I thought she'd be. Very old. Like, going well, in. You guys couldn't find, like, an 18-year-old, 17-year-old? Like, well, Jesus, that uh, woman looked like she was 40. Well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, just, I, I thought. You know, I thought Mary is like Billy's age, and that, and they yeah. aren't Look, they aren't they like 40. hot for each other or something I in the know. comics. I forget, but but like the fact that like she was like the oldest and going to college and stuff like that, I was like, Ooh, okay, no. you know, but whatever. Um, movie the the and and the opening was great too. The origin of the the villain, you know, I like that. You know, oh, it's really predictable. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, and I said this to you: the guy, the the villain's dad was the Crump character from Gremlins 2, The New mm-hmm. Batch. It's basically yeah. the origin story of the villain is The Incredibles. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, so Umbrella Academy, like everybody, they do the same fucking origin story. Yeah. Um, you can't be good enough to be a hero. Okay, I'm a villain. Stupid. I mean, all these movies are the same. Mm-hmm. Villain comes, heroes come, take over, and that's 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 the end of it. Oh, you should have brought the phone. <laughs> this video is gonna be so weird. It's gonna have you pa- passing in front of it multiple times. I'm, I'm gonna have to put like a like a character in front of it or something, like a bus maybe. <laughs> do, 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 do. Shazam! So kids, uh, basically, Man of Steel is still, in my opinion, the best DC EU movie. That movie is money. I know a lot of people are hating on me for saying that. They're like, oh, Dark Knight. Dark Knight is great. First of all, Dark Knight is not part of the DCEU. It's part of the Nolan verse, which is separate. But even so, as great as Dark Knight is, that last 20 minutes is horrible because 
you know, that whole two face thing and capturing Gordon's thing just unnecessary. Anyways, back to back to Shazam. Wanski's coming. Here he comes. Here, uh, 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 uh. all right, cool. Um, it's really annoying when when customers they not customers but certain they call people call when a book gets hot and be like, oh, do you have this for cover price? Be like, no, nah, man. It's like forty dollars. Why wouldn't we know? What book is that? Huh? What book is that? What's the hot book right now? There's a ton of hot books right now. Oh. I'm not going to say it because I don't want all these scalpers to start running ah, around. Yeah, good call, good call. But to be fair, if the book comes out that week, we still do it at cover price. We do it at cover price, yeah. yeah. For the first week. When Batman Dan came out, number one, everyone was looking for it. They jacked the price up. You still got that shit from us at cover. Yeah, and if it's in your file, it'll stay at cover as long as you are a subscriber who picks up your file. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you come in eight months later and you wonder where your file is because you haven't bought anything in eight months, sorry. Yeah, sorry. What do you want? Hey, yeah. Um... The first cut scene that showed the Dr. Sullivan or whatever his name was in the jail cell and then the little weird wor weird worm, he... the, the Mr. Mind. Who, I, I mean, remind the folks what that is? Mr. Mind? Yeah. It's a caterpillar with a voice box. Yeah, yeah, but what's he do? He puts together a team uh, of bad guys. It's fine, you come in. Yeah. yeah, it's just like the Monsters Justice Society. Of yeah, people. I wanted to see Black Adam. Sure. But we didn't. Well, he is in the Monsters Society. Yeah, but it still would have been cooler, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that, that that's a that's that, that is Shazam in, in in a in a quick, you know, thing, right? Yeah, it's good. Go watch it. You know, it, it's it's it, it's Juan's favorite DC movie. Apparently, no, not my favorite. You just said it was. No, I said it's the best. So, what's your favorite? Still, Wonder Woman. Really, the third no. act of Wonder Woman was dog shit. It was really dog shit. But what 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 are the choices? Aquaman was boring. And Man of Steel. Else. Man of Steel was terrible. Man of Steel was amazing, kids. Terrible. Whatever. Anyways. Anyways, go see Shazam. Anyways, because uh, the more we watch these movies, the more we're going to get. And we, as much it's as we love. It's oversaturated. As much it is. Over Actually, don't watch the movie. We could we could cut back on these things. Cut back? Yeah, let's cut back a little bit. You just don't want to see Captain Marvel lead the Avengers. No, that's going to be. I'm not going to. I'm done. <laughs> You're done after Endgame? I, uh, Endgame is my big finale from the Marvel movies. Oh, my God. It's your last Jedi moment. I watched moment. every single one, and uh, Avengers will be it. You're so full of ass right no, now. No, I'll watch Doctor Strange too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when Fantastic Four and X-Men. And Black Panther too. Yeah. I mean, there's no way he's going to hold up to the Oscar-nominated first one, but <laughs> it should be good. You're such a dick. Go shut up. Anyways, guys, go see Shazam. Check us out uh, at our three stores. We got one in Pembroke Pines on Pines, just East University. Another one in Miami on 107th and 8th Street across from FIU. We are here right now in our Coral Gables location, our newest one, our little Corker Comics boutique on Lejeune across from... Uh, uh, Shops at Merrick Park next to Havana Harry's. Uh, subscribe, like, comment on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics. Other than that, um, keep seeing these movies. We'll see you for Endgame. Check you later. Mm -hmm. Bye.